a shell burst uh, on contact with the ground and fragments fly in all the direction the speed up to 30 meter per second so here suppose this is my shell which anyways is represented okay this shell is being burst and then the fragments are being what is that the fragments are being uh, what is that sent in all the direction okay it is just uh, projected in all the direction basically it's a question belongs to uh, projection okay and if a man is sta standing there is a man is standing in 40 meter so from where the shell is being burst the man was standing at a distance of 40 meters okay from a spot as shown in the figure okay so as per in the figure so from this spot he is standing at a distance 40 meters now the question is how long he is in danger okay see from the question yes of course i have not given you the unit <clears throat> the units are not mentioned in the question but still without the unit you will able to you will able to answer okay how long which means they are simply asking how much time the person will be in danger so the person will be in the danger means first of all the fragments which is coming out of the burst whatever the fragments which is coming out of the burst that fragment should hit him okay let us consider that like see all the fragments might not hit for example some fragment is coming at an angle some 10 degree okay so sometime um, i will just show you here okay at a 10 degree angle some fragments are coming it might travel and then it might fall here itself but the person was standing here okay, the person was standing here but the fragments we will show in that diagram now the fragments will burst and then it will fall here itself the burst it will fall here it will burst it will fall here it will burst it will fall here but at some angle okay at some angle the fragment may travel and it may reach the person okay at some angle the fragment may travel and it will reach the person right so let me take that angle as already it is given in the question let me take that angle to be theta okay which means when the angle is theta with a velocity of 30 meter per second the fragment that is whatever the body which i am projecting from here okay if i project some body from here it can travel 40 meter and it can reach the person okay so if i project it by theta and obviously from theta that is next next ball that is whatever the next fragment will also be hitting him next fragment will also hit next fragment will also hit until one particular angle only it will hit okay we need to find out that angle right okay i will i will say how to find out that angle okay ultimately my aim is to find out the angles uh, let us i found out the starting point this theta is the starting point at which uh, the, the 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 fragment is going to first start hitting i need to find out what is the angle until which the fragment will hit because once it crosses the angle okay for example i will just give you i will just show you that uh, what is that approximating suppose it is crossing some particular value maximum value of angle it might not travel um, to this point also okay maybe it will travel like this instead of getting projected it will travel here and then it may fall here it will travel here and it may fall here it may travel in this direction it may travel in this direction or there is a possibility it may travel above this person okay so all these are possibility once it crosses that maximum angle so i know the minimum angle let me take the minimum angle to be theta a theta is the angle at which the 40 meters it can travel without any issues i need to find out what is the maximum angle at which the 40 can be reached and now going back to what is that uh, going back to a formula of projection projectile and all those things we know range is nothing but u square into sin 2 theta okay by whatever what is that g by g so this theta is what i already got okay theta is what i already got see we know one thing from the basics sin theta is nothing but sin 180 minus theta right from the from uh, astc astc 180 minus theta in the sense it is lying in 180 minus theta means it is lying in the second quadrant somewhere here. So sin theta and sin 180 minus theta will be same. Now, if I want sin 2 theta, okay, if I want sin 2 theta, then it will be sin 180 minus 2 theta. I will take two commonly. So sin 2 into 90 minus theta. Okay, so ultimately that is sin 2 theta will be equal to Sin. these are mathematics only just max nothing else sin 2 theta is nothing but sin 2 into 90 minus theta which means sin value will be same sin value will be same 
for an angle if suppose what is, i don't know what is angle what is angle let us take the angle was uh, that is um i say i will i will explain you one more thing so we know that r is equal to u square by g u is not changing right u is constant 35 meter per second so u is not changing g g is also not changing so r is equal to or r is proportional to sin 2 theta so whatever if i able to find out what are all the angles okay what are all the angles at which the range will become 40 meter okay what are all the angles with which the range will become 40 meter those are the angles those are the angles what is that uh, until which we will be will be having an issue that means until which we will be having uh, a problem of that fragment hitting this person okay so one angle let me take one angle is theta and if i want to find out other, another angle i need to find out when this sin 2 theta will be equal for example we know that sin 2 theta is equal to what uh, 40 into g by u square okay this is some value okay this is some value i will be getting some value some x okay so we know that when theta is equal to theta sin 2 theta was x i need to find out what is the next angle okay what is the next angle let us suppose this is theta 1 okay this is theta 1 what is the next angle at which again the sin value sin 2 of that angle will become x i hope you got it why i why, why i am finding out let me do one thing i will take both to be let, let this be theta 1 let this be theta 2 i found out theta 1 okay theta 1 is nothing but angle at which the the fragment need to be projected so that it travels 40 meter i need to find out what is the another theta theta 2 so that the range will be 40 meter the range needs to be same we already know range is nothing but u square sin 2 theta by g i am bringing that u square to uh, left hand side g to left hand side so r g by u square u is constant g is constant r is constant so which means r is directly proportional to sin 2 theta so now this r value there is range value depends on sin 2 theta only so i need to find out what are all the theta values where my range will be 40 so one one is theta 1 for finding out another i am doing this analysis okay from the trigonometry from that uh, astc okay so we, uh, we we know that sin 2 theta will be equal to sin 2 into 90 minus theta which means if i take theta 1 is equal to theta whatever the sin value i am getting the same sin value i will get if theta 2 is 90 minus theta okay so that is the logic the question is simple i taken a little bit more time for explaining it so the logic is like the one angle at which the fragment hit this person is theta until 90 minus theta that means until this angle reaches 90 minus theta the fragment will hit him okay the fragment will hit him once it crosses 90 minus theta maybe it passes like this or it it passes like this or it passes like this or it might go other side also okay right so what i should do let me let me just write down that equation one second Uh, my range is how much? Nine forty, right? One second, one second, one second. So my range is forty. That will be equal to u square into sine two theta by g, and that should be equal to u square sine two times of ninety minus theta by g. So with the help of, with the help of. by equating this equation with this equation you will able to find out one theta right and if you know theta obviously you know you know how to find out 90 minus theta okay so first of all let me do this this how can i solve it 40 which is equal to u square which is 35 square right sorry 35 square into sin 2 theta by g okay this is g not theta g g g which is 9.81 find out what is my theta anyone just get me the theta 13.69 degrees sir 13.69 one second 13.69 it seems to be a little bit more but approximately it is correct any any others 12.92 ah uh, 12.9 is correct 12.92 is correct okay so theta is 12.92 so 90 minus this i will take it as theta one okay And theta two will be ninety minus theta, which is ninety minus twelve point twelve point nine two. That is that is seventy seven point zero eight. 
Yeah, twelve point nine two and seventy seven point zero eight. So, what actually now? What is now? Until now, I have not solved the question. Wait a moment. I have not yet solved. See, when the angle was twelve point nine two. Okay, when the angle is twelve point nine two, the fragments start hitting this person. Okay, the fragments start hitting this person until it reaches seventy seven point zero eight. The fragment will hit. Okay, the fragment will hit. Okay, I hope you got the point, right? Now, listen, listen. Theta one is what? Twelve point nine two. Okay, theta one is twelve point nine two, and we know that initial velocity is thirty meter per second. So when I project some particle, okay, when I project some particle at a velocity thirty meter per second in an angle twelve point nine two, how to find out time taken? Time taken for it to time taken for it to travel this range for complete time, which means uh, what is that? Uh, time of ascent plus time of descent, totally. Time of ascent plus time of descent. We have a formula, right? Direct formula. I hope you guys remember that. Two u sine theta one because I'm going to find out t one by c. This will give me. Listen carefully. Listen to my word carefully. This will give me time taken by a fragment to complete. Okay, to complete a range of r when it is projected at an angle twelve point nine two degree. Okay, now. Again, with the same velocity, thirty meter per second, I am going to project. I am going to project at an angle seventy-seven point zero eight. Okay, seventy-seven point zero eight, and that will give me t two, which is equal to two u sine seventy-seven point zero eight by g. Okay, that will give you t two. So this t one is nothing but time taken, time taken for the first fragment to hit. Okay, for the first fragment to hit, and T two is nothing but time taken for the last fragment to hit. So anyone just find out this T one and T two. Okay, U is nothing but thirty. T two one is twelve point nine nine two, and again U is thirty. T two is seventy seven point zero. Just get T one and T two. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, five point nine six one point three seven. That's correct. Hmm, that's right. One point three seven, five point nine six. Okay, listen to me carefully. See, initially zero second is the starting point. Okay, so it takes one point three seven seconds for the first particle, first fragment to hit, until five point nine six seconds. Okay, until five point nine six seconds, the fragment will be keep on hitting. So, what is going to be the time for which this person was? Uh, what is that? This person was not safe. That means this person was in danger. I will ask the question again. Okay. First particle, one second. First particle to hit is one point after one point three seven until five point nine six. That is five point nine six is the last particle to hit. So what is going to be the time? What is going to be the time? He is going to be in danger. I will say. I will ask the question again. Okay, listen to the question again. So time, one second. I will. I will ask the question again. Okay, so time one that is one point three six is the first particle to hit him. Okay, and uh, what is that? Five point something, five point nine six, right? Five point nine six is the last particle to hit. And now, what is the time? What is the time he was? He is going to be in danger. Yeah, Four that's points. right. Hmm, that's right. T two minus T one. Okay, so that will be four point something, right? Four point six seconds. Yes, four one five nine, four one six. That's correct. 